Hello, my name is Gustavo Sosa and welcome to another video from ST Microelectronics. In this video, we'll create a project to show how to use the swipe container. The project will have two screens. The first screen will have three pages. The second screen will have two swap containers, each one with two pages. The swap container is useful to have fluid transitions and to have multiple spaces at the screen. Each page is like a screen inside the swipe container that we can change by swiping the screen. We will use the TouchFX Designer. The hardware will be the STM32H735 Discovery Board with a 4.3 inches 480 by 272 TFT and as a microcontroller a STM32H735 with 1 mega flash and 564K of RAM. Select the STM32H735 Discovery Kit application template and blank UI. To create the UI, we'll add a white box and logos images. Add the subcontainer on the rest of the screen. Add a box. We'll change the box color to a light blue. And with a subcontainer widget selected, drag the box inside the subcontainer 1, page 1. Extend the box to the whole subcontainer area, will be the background. To identify the page, we'll add a number with size large. Draw the text inside the swipe container. We'll add images to indicate the swipe. To assign the image, go to Skin, Dark, and Icon. Select Back Arrow 48. Add another image. Now will be Next Arrow 48. Both images drag them to swipe container 1, page 1. Add a second page to the swipe container. Select the box, images and text at page 1, copy and paste them, and the copy drag it to page 2. Change the box color and change the text to 2. Add the third page to the swipe container. Select the box, images and text at page 1, copy and paste them. The copy drag it to page 3. Change the box color. And change the text to 3. Delete the right arrow. Select the swipe container, change to page 1, delete the left arrow. Finally, select page 2. The page selected is the page seen at the touch effect, but also will be the page displayed at the screen. Add a button. Note that the button is outside the swipe container. This button will be used to change the screen. Add the second screen. From screen 1, select the box at the top and logos images. Copy and paste them at the screen 2. Add the box to be used as background and change the color. Add the first swipe container. Place the swipe container on the half left of the background. Add a box. Select swipe container page 1 and drag the box to it. 
adjust the box to be in all the subcontainer area. Change box color. Add the second page to the swipe container. Add the box. Select swap container page 2 and drag the box to it. Adjust the box to be in all the swap container area. Change box color. Finally, enable page indicator and change style to dots large. The page indicator will let us know the page being seen. Add the second swap container. Now we'll be at the right side of the screen. Again, add a box and drag it to the subcontainer page. Change box color. Adjust the box to the subcontainer area. Add the second page to the subcontainer too. Again, add a box and drag it to the subcontainer page. Adjust the box to the subcontainer area. Change box color. Add a button to change the screen. This button will be in subcontainer 2, page 2. So, we need to drag it to swap container page 2. Place the button in the visible area. Enable page indicator. We need to add interactions to change between screens. With the screen to selected, go to interactions. Add an interaction. At trigger, select button is clicked. At source, button 1. At action, change screen. Finally, screen 1. Select the screen 1, add an interaction, but now we'll change to screen 2. At the two subcontainers, select page 1 to be seen. To finish, we'll add backgrounds so at the end of the subcontainer, do not see black but see the same color of the swipe. Add a box, put it at the left of the screen. Place it along the swipe container. We we'll leave it with a 50 pixels width. Change the color to the color of screen 1, swipe container page 1. Add a second box. Place it at the right of the screen. Leave it too with a 50 pixel width. Place it along the subcontainer. Now change the color to the color of screen 1 subcontainer page 3. Select the two boxes and drag them to the bottom of the screen 1 widget. So we'll be at the button to be displayed. Generate code and after run target to see the UI at the board. At the screen 1, we can change between pages. We can see how at the end of page 1 and page 3, we see the same color of the page. At the screen 2, we can observe how at the end of each page, we see that background of the screen and not the box color. With the button at the subcontainer 2, page 2, we can go back to screen 1. Thank you for watching.